go. All right, you're on, Melissa. Started last year, November, and now I am in um, the process of having five recruits. Um, I started at zero a month ago, heard about the Disney incentive, and I wanted to do that, and I, it wasn't a choice. <laughs> I definitely want that to happen, so I got motivated and recruited five people. The first tip I would give you is to make a list of five to ten people that you think might be interested in doing it, or you don't know if they really would or not, but it's not going to hurt to ask. The worst they can do is say no. Um, and I had one of my girls that I recruited say, well, my niece probably could, but she just had a baby. And my thought is, what better time? You know, you're home, you're there during the day, the nap times of their newborns, and it's a little extra money, a little extra cash when you're not working. And it keeps you connected to the adult world as well, where it's not just you and baby all the time. So you can actually feel like you get a little bit of a break. Um, so always make that handy. Another thing that I would suggest if you are involved in any group, organization, a church even, I always keep the catalog, at least one catalog on hand, if not my car, um, and carry my products. I love, love, love my little dreamer tote. Um, I definitely need to buy a bag that you like just to keep yourself happy, but it's also an advertising point for you. Um, I go into so many stores and they're like, oh, what a cute purse, what a cute purse. And so then you're able to share it. I always say that we're not um, really selling the 31, we're sharing 31. We want to show them what we have to offer. Uh, if you love the product yourself, it's easier to talk people into joining your team. And now with the uh, Disney incentive, it's wonderful, wonderful. Um, and so that's how I've kind of went from recruiting. Four of them um, started when um, I was just at work and I told them about it. I really want to do Disney. You can earn it too. Um, just showed them the breakdown of what it entailed to do that and got them excited. And I always say it starts with a smile, you know, when you recruit. If, if you go up to somebody and you say, I sell 31, you can earn a Disney trip, do you want to go? Most people aren't going to be enthusiastic about it because you're not. But if you are going in to meet a friend and you get to talking about your purse or your products and you say, you know what, you could earn a Disney trip, you'd be a great, great person for this. And then explain it to them and show them uh, what they can do and what they can earn with this. And don't be afraid to talk about the commissions, how it's going to help you. Um, a lot of people say, I don't have time for it. Uh, I always recommend um, let them join one of your face parties or host a party and let them be part of it just to show them how fun and how simple it can be. Um, and I always say too, to my girls especially, is to be an actress or an actor, if you're a guy, uh, in your own show. And those are the people that they say, oh, I can't do that. I'm just too blunt. I'm too real. Um, but you think about it when you're walking around cleaning your house and you go back in your son or daughter's bedroom in five minutes, they've destroyed it again. You're in there and you're just screaming and yelling, counting to three. I just cleaned this. Hurry up. But then your phone rings. What do you do? You say, hello. Right. So we get that change of voice sometimes. And sometimes when you're talking to strangers, you kind of have to think about that. I have to smile. I have to um, make sure that I'm presentable, not, not in looks, but your personality and um, your first impression of that person. Because when you walk up to somebody, they want to know that you're excited about it, that you believe in your product. Um, and I've noticed that's helped me a lot. I actually spoke with a girl at Metro PCS tonight. And again, she said, oh, I love your purse. We had a conversation for 30 minutes and I'm going to contact her tomorrow evening to see if she would to be my sixth recruit, I'm hoping. Um, so just make that a point to, to really talk to him, to really be excited about the product. And like I said, if you, if you haven't bought your favorite bag, save up for it and buy it, do what you got to do. But it does change your personality because you get excited for it. Um, another thing that I say is, um, really talk to your recruits or as your, your prospective recruits about what you will do for them 
they don't want to know that you want them to sign up because they can go to Disney and this is how you do it. They want to know, what are you going to do after I sign up? Are you going to help me get this? What can you do for me so that I don't feel so nervous about paying the hundred dollars and signing up? Um, and so that's been a big help for me. If I say, you know, add me to that Facebook party, sit down next to me. I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, I'm having a party tomorrow uh, for one of my recruits and there's two other ones coming just to see how it's going to happen, how it looks. I grab all of my products in the Greg tub and we go, we set it up. We gave it a theme at a church and um, it invited pretty much the whole town of Keys, <laughs> Oklahoma, but I'm looking really forward to it. I think she'll do a really great job there. Um, and even if they're shy, I think once they get over that first party, and um, they know what to expect. It's not so scary anymore, but they definitely need you there to help them. And um, at least for the first. And um, the next one is to share your personal experience. That's my other tip. Because when I started 31, I didn't know much about it. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, and I loved the product. I knew that. But going to school, teaching, having two kids, busy schedule, um, I did just the minimum. And this year, with especially all the budget cuts, I thought, I need more supplies for my classroom. I'm going to throw a 31 party. And just kind of built it up. And then again, when the Disney incentive came, um, I want to take my kids to Disney before they graduate in a few years. And we're all excited. My husband's even like, let's do this. <laughs> so that makes a big difference. So share that personal experience of why you want it and why you're doing this and what 31's done for you. Um, another thing that um, I would suggest doing, like, sorry, the wind, um, is that, you know, we talked to a lot of people saying, I only do this on Facebook. Everybody I know lives in another state. How do I, how do I recruit them? So we have the beauty of technology now. Um, you can do Facebook Live, FaceTime, Skype, Zoom. And I would recommend that. Um, I saw a product the other day that a girl did, and I want to try this on my close group page, where she actually set up her own 31 party. Um, or, well, not 31 party. It was a different product. But set up her own party on her kitchen table and did Facebook Live and showed the products and how you get started and this is how you sell the product and this is what you can earn. So I think if we even did that in our close group and um, those people that are interested say, you know, message me, comment here, like this, you know, this post if you want more information and that's a way to reach out to your close group and you might get somebody that you would have never dreamed would want to do this. And, um, but just by doing the Facebook live post and, um, they're interested so that's one way um, another way might be getting everybody involved that you think those five to ten people that I said to make a list for in the beginning and um, maybe hold a Skype meeting or a zoom meeting or some sort of meeting where we can see each other talk to each other messenger and text messages are fine but sometimes it's not the same and um, but by doing that you can explain they can ask questions and they're going to have questions that probably some of the other girls will have or guys. And um, so that's really good to have. And um, I just think that with technology today, we have so much more of an opportunity to reach people even farther out than we ever have. Um, I have even thought about maybe going um, and talking to places like Atwoods or Walmart, for example, and setting up a little table and putting some products out and say, ask me about how you can earn Disney. Those people are going to stop. You're going to catch their attention, but you're just kind of marketing your product. You're marketing what we can offer them, but then you get excited about it. Be sure to smile and show them how they can join and what it's going to do for you. The worst they can do is say no. So I would suggest doing something like that. I mean, even if it's in a church, if they allow you on a Saturday, they have vendor events or something like that. That would be another way um, to set your table up and to really reach some people. And I found with my fifth recruit, she was very, very hesitant, but I did not want to push her too much. Um, and so, you know, I showed her what I do, how I do it invited her to my Facebook party um, and just showed her how easy it was to run 
she actually got on my website and watched some of the uh, training videos, what it entailed, gave her a catalog, um, and she, it took her three days to join me. But I did not do anything except for, do you have any questions? If you, you want to look through it, take your time. If you have questions, I'll be glad to help you. And um, the night that we had the taco meeting, she was like, oh, I'm going to miss it. But during that meeting, she texted me and she said, I'm joining. So she did it before she even really knew what she was getting into, but she's loving it now. And um, so I'm very excited for her. And um, lastly, um, if you get to um, a point where you are just really feeling like you're stuck, I think the Facebook um, live option where you're just kind of doing your own explanation would be a great thing. And then ask if somebody wants to, you know, you just send them a catalog and a letter to see, you know, maybe they would like to do it, see the products um, in the catalog and on your website. Mm -hmm. But I would suggest posting like a little post-it note or a note on the front and on the back. And um, maybe on the front say, thank you so much for looking at this. On the back, when they flip it over, have a bright colored paper and say, look at all this you can get. Um, even if they think, oh, I'm going to be a kidnapper. I'm going to tell you my first recruit thought she was going to be a kidnapper until I kind of told her, persuaded her to try it out. Just have one party and see how you do. And I'll tell you right now, she's hooked. She's hooked. She quit selling Avon yesterday because 31 was a lot more fun to do. And she really, really enjoys it. Um, and she just told me, she said, you know, the people that come into the office and see the products are so happy when they leave. They're, you know, it's, it sells itself. And I said, exactly. And so that was kind of my success story. I thought, oh, goodness, here we go. What's she going to do? And, and she honestly just blew me away by really stepping up and taking action and doing that. So those are my tips. Like I said, just first make your list of five to ten people. And um, number two, I said, be an actor or actress in your own show and carry that bag that you love so you can give that personal touch you really feel good about your product your eyes are going to light up you're going to smile because you're talking about something you love um, and then i said you know try facetime and zoom meetings and follow up by sending in the catalog and don't be afraid to participate in those vendor events um, and church parties and stuff like that now you will have parties your recruits are going to have parties uh, especially on Facebook that may not reach the party minimum or maybe a facebook party that had zero you know, you have to keep encouraging your recruits to keep going. And um, we're going through that now. We had one that had two parties on Facebook and it was zero, 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 you know, on both parties. Uh, we set it up again, tried another person, did a third party plus a launch party. And she'll probably submit about $450 this month just right now. And so I'm really, really proud of her. You just, you have to be the motivator. And sometimes it's hard when we have to motivate ourselves to do it. So I would say turn on Alanis Morissette or whatever your fight song is before you go and get in that mood <laughs> and really get yourself pumped up for it. Um, and that's, that's what I would recommend. You know, do what makes you love the product. Do what makes you feel confident. And then just be sure to check on your recruits once you get them. And I promise you, after you get that first recruit, you're going to go, I got this. I got this. So I really hope that you win the Disney trip to or earn it with us. And if you have any more questions, please let us know. So I'm going, you have questions, Marcy or Sarah? Well, I'm going to leave Marcy on mute just for a second so that I can um, just kind of give my two cents here. I really appreciate everything that you just told us. And those are great tips. And what I really love for anyone that is either watching now or going to watch the replay, um, basically, you know, Melissa is telling you to carry your products. You have to be your own billboard. You have to advertise. If you're carrying a micro cores bag or a coach bag or something else, that does not set you apart as a 31 consultant and that will not start a conversation. So, um, Melissa, were any of your recruits as a result of that or is that just a good tip that you had for us? Oh, no, that's how I actually got 
my first, my fifth recruit because of the little dreamer tote, you can see it, uh -huh. <laughs> with the arrows, my favorite. And every time that I carried it in, it was like, oh, I love your purse. I love your purse. And so I was like, oh, and I actually met her at Caitlin's um, little girl's birthday party at the resort down by where I live. I had a catalog on me and I said, we'll take a look. And she thumbed through it for about two hours, <laughs> you know, back and <laughs> forth. And I didn't hear from her for about a week or so and then kind of went back and, and we were talking about, you know, how great it was, how the product was. And she said, well, I don't know if I want to commit to that, but I really like the kit. Um, and then with my fifth recruit, the same thing, she's like, oh, you always have the cutest bags, the cutest lunch <laughs> pills. Um, and awesome. so I said, well, you should sell it. You can too, you know. And then when I started talking about the Disney incentive, you know, they were like, "What is that easy? That can't be all you have to do," because they were able to see even with a few parties a month, two or three parties a month for two months maximum, you're probably going to reach that thousand dollar limit and right. um, minimum, excuse me, that you need. So right. I found that to be very, very easy and very easy to recruit them once they could see what we do. Exactly. So. That's awesome. And then another thing Melissa talked about was smiling when you're talking to people, um, even over the phone, when you're smiling, people can definitely tell when you're excited versus when you say, oh, there's this Disney thing and I'm trying to earn it. You have to say, I am going to earn it and I'm so excited and I want to tell you about it. And you've got the smile on your face and your eyes light up, whether you're in person or on the phone. So that's a really good tip. I am going to unmute Marcy in case she has any questions. And if not, that's A-OK. -okay. But Marcy, you are unmuted now if you have any questions. That's a little scary um, to be unmuted. Um, I did, but honestly, it has slipped my mind <laughs> what I was going to ask. Um, I guess my thing, um, I was trying to think, I did. Um, OK reservations i mean like some like for example some people have reservations about joining um because I, i'm not sure about the commitment but i know like sarah and i have talked about the monthly cost you know and then but then it, she explained how it can be um not you know, they can do it kind of a little harder but you can still do it without having to pay that monthly cost but um, I'm so sorry. You may have to meet me again. My kids are being. I'm sorry. But um, um, anyway, I'm trying. Turn that off. Sorry. Turn that off. I'm sorry. Just go ahead and go on without me. I'm sorry. I can't <laughs> right now with the kids. Well, I know okay. what you're saying, and I. And Marcy, I was going to say with with that when they say, "Oh, I have to pay fourteen ninety five for the website," you can tell them even if they sell one or two items as retail, the commission they get on that is going to cover it. So it's technically going to be free for them. So just uh, that would be a way I would present that. Right. And yeah, yeah, that does make sense. Yeah, because one average customer order is sixty five dollars. So 25% of $65 is actually more. It's $16.25. So you're over. Right. You're already getting paid back on one average order. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then um, what, about, or what about what are the best ways for them to reach their goal? The $1,000. Okay. So the best way to reach the to qualify is what she's asking. For the thousand dollars to qualify for there, and um, I think it's a great combination. With mine, I want their launch parties to be in person, and um, but I'm trying to get them to reach as many friends as they can, and um, that they know are family members and host that Facebook party, um, and even the, if they are comfortable doing the Facebook Live to do that, and um, if they're not, I've even offered to, as myself being a consultant in their sponsor to do it with them to do it for them and introduce the product and say I'm so excited she's joined under me or he's joined under me and um, and then once you get that product out there and the fact that people know that's what it is and they know you're selling it 
it sells itself. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't take long. I, most Facebook parties I've noticed average anywhere. I mean, you might make 200, you might make 700 and there might be some you make zero. So I've encouraged them to have an ongoing party once a week and um, for right now. And especially before their launch party, I asked them to do one, maybe even two launch parties. And um, on Facebook, just so they can kind of get used to the products. They know what we sell. They know kind of the price range and the patterns. And then when we go do our launch party, they're more familiar with those products. Um, and that's been a huge success because they're not just saying, okay, I'm selling 31. And somebody says, do you have this in the dot dots? And she might go, I, I don't know. So those Facebook parties are kind of the baby steps, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, not everybody wants to do that. I understand that. But at least with the Facebook parties, you know, it's still behind the scenes. They're not, you know, in person. They have time to go look for the answer or call their sponsor, call Sarah and find out the answer. And um, so that's what I would recommend for the thousand. One, two Facebook parties, a launch party. And at that point, they're probably going to get some more hosts just to um, go farther with them and they'll make some more off those parties. Well, okay. What about, I just, real quick, when you talk about the Facebook Live, are you talking about like just like doing one item or like one area, like, you know, all the wallets or like actually doing like a live party, like the whole thing, going through like well, all the Facebook. products? Okay. With Facebook Live, um, usually it's like a recording. Um, they don't really talk to you unless, I mean, you can set up different ways. I know with technology nowadays. But what I would recommend with, you, you know, you get the products that you have. It doesn't have to be all wallets. It can be a variety to show the different things that we do. Um, or you could even do like Wallet Wednesdays and get on there if you want to make it a daily theme and say this is, you know, Wallet Wednesday, here's the Perfect Sense Wallet and um, I have this pattern or you could even show um, some type of examples, you know, the patterns they come in. Maybe you have a tall organizing tote and brush strokes and um, but you want to show them there's different pattern options or, or give them the website. So I definitely, it's really up to you. I would definitely get the first one, show them a variety. And then if you want to keep doing it, do a weekly or a daily Facebook Live for them just to keep them going. That might be a fun thing to do. And you start talking like on your Facebook group page, kind of just doing right. it like there. Yeah, your Facebook, the closed group page that you created. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. And but, one more thing I would like to add to what Marcy had asked with how to get to the thousand. Um, that was great what Melissa had recommended, but I also want to just throw in to make sure you tell your new recruits and anybody that um, is asking for help to always have an active link on their website for people to shop from an actual party link because um, and then train your customers to go to that monthly party link to place their order and that will help them because you can have more specials made available. You can build to where you can give hostess rewards to someone. So if somebody on May 1st puts an order in on your party that's called May Customer Orders, mm -hmm. so you have their order, you contact that customer and say, hey, can you wait um, a few days to a week or maybe more for me to submit your order or do you want this right away? And if they want it right away, then you need to go ahead and submit it as a retail order. But if they can wait, then you wait until you get another order on there and then um, mm -hmm. you just keep compiling orders on that party link. And then once you're at 200 or more, you can offer hostess rewards and say on your closed group, hey, um, you know, next order of $50 or more is going to get any item at half off. You can distribute the hostess rewards and you can caveat to say uh, local customers only so that you don't have to ship the hostess rewards to everyone. So that's another way to boost your personal volume and help uh, qualify sooner. So, were there any other questions for Melissa for right now? No, I think I'm good. Thank you. Okay. I think, like, the huge takeaway from, from what Melissa had to say, Bill, what are you doing? <laughs> My husband's wanting to get in here. My hot. Anyways, um, <laughs> I can't focus now. I think the big takeaway uh, with Melissa is that she's not afraid to approach people um, and the bag is the conversation starter because she carries 
for 31 with her and she can freely talk about it because she is using it. So um, I was telling somebody the other day, if you're wearing a perfume that someone loves, um, you know, you're wearing it and they can actually smell it and they say, hey, what are you wearing? You know, I really like that. And then you can tell them the brand. But if you're not wearing the perfume, they'll never know what it smells like. So kind of the same idea. You have to be your own billboard. So uh, 31 gives us so many products that we earn in our K groups and our K kits. And we have so much opportunity to get free stuff. And then, of course, we're going to buy stuff here and there. So like Melissa said, save up for something that you really want and carry it all the time. And uh, that's a great conversation starter. So Melissa, thank you so much. You are a recruiting rock star. I'm so proud of you. Um, when did you start 31? I forgot your, your, your start. Um, you remember? I want to say it was like November um, 2015. Okay. So a good year and a half later, you're getting busy. So that's the good right, thing right. about this company. It's on your time and your girls don't mm -hmm. have to be super excited. You guys, whoever is joining your team does not have to be super excited when they join. It's all on their time. And if they know like Melissa said, if they know that you are there to help them to where they're not doing this alone, that is huge. That's what people want to know. So I'm really glad that you brought that up. So, because they want the support. So thank you, Melissa, so much. We're going to go ahead and end the recording. So okay. we appreciate thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye-bye.